Hi Gemini! Welcome back to my channel, Emerald Element. We're going to be doing your general reading here for September 1st through the 15th for Sun and Gemini people. Okay, so the cards we have out so far is the Fool, the Fool card, and the Queen of Wands. This is awesome. There is a new cycle that you guys are entering. This feels like a restart, a, like pushing the, ref, the refresh button, pushing the restart button here. And you guys are going into this new cycle full force. You guys are really in control of yourself, of your decision making. You guys are being confident and courageous with this new cycle that is happening. You guys are being open to change as well. You guys could have gotten promoted or just taken up a new job that, if, that really involves your teamwork. This is a new place that really wants you or that really needs your experience, really needs you to step up. And I do see you guys here matching that level. Okay. That's great. That is great, great, great. So we have the Five of Cups with the Ace of Swords. So there may have been a message or there is going to be a message that is received here, but that's ultimately going to lead to some disappointment, to some sadness, to some grief here. This could also be cutting out a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But overall, some message you are going to get the 1st to the 15th is going to bring about some sadness here. Okay, we have the Four of Swords in the reverse paired with the Emperor here. So with the Four of Swords in the reverse, there is a need for reflection. There are things that you are trying to manage that really calls for you to retreat and relax before you're able to make any more moves. Um... If you guys are looking for jobs, you guys need to really apply yourself, okay? Make those phone calls, mark the date, get online, search that up. Um, what else? But the energy I'm just getting here overall for these two cards is to get off the chair, get off the bed, and really apply yourself with the Emperor. You are in charge. But for some of you as well, you guys are going to be getting out there, applying yourself, and um, feeling really good. Also, with this message that's going to come through, it's really going to knock you off a little bit. It's going to leave you in a state of depression even. So with the Four of Swords in the reverse, um, really gather yourself, meditate, go outside, um, whatever you usually do to calm yourself, okay? The Emperor is here to tell you to stay grounded.
Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles with the World card in the reverse. So with the Three of Pentacles, you guys are, um, you guys could have entered a new job or you guys are going to be working with people that are going to have differences with you. But with the, since the Three of Pentacles is upright, it's like you guys are going to be getting along. There's just going to be different people who see things differently from you, think differently from you, but ultimately you guys are going to get along. With the world card in the reverse, there is some setbacks going on here. Let's go ahead and see why the world card is in the reverse. Why is the world card in the reverse? Okay, so we have the Hierophant in the reverse and the Knight of Wands. So some of you guys, with the Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant here, you guys could be um, going back to school or going back to work. Um, you know, you guys really need to get on top of your stuff. If you guys want things to happen, you guys have to put in the work, okay? is what the emperor is trying to say here. The hierophant does indicate institutions, higher learning. So does the three of pentacles. Um, you know, like I said, going back to school, getting a new job here. So, so this can turn around. The world card can turn around. It's all up to you if you're going to make the effort here, like the like the Fool card and the Queen of Wands. Some of you guys are going to be going in full force. Some of you guys are going to stall. You guys are going to stall because of, um, maybe because of transportation issues or um, mobility issues. Some of you guys could be disabled at the moment or you guys are just have always been disabled. But whatever this news is, here with the Ace of Swords, it's, um, there is some sort of setbacks here with the World card, okay? So you guys do have opportunities. Um, there just needs to be more action applied to going after these new opportunities. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Hermit upright, and the Magician in the reverse. So with the Magician in the reverse, this is not um, making stuff happen. This is not using the tools accessible to you. We have the hermit here relaxing. Some of you guys um, are just isolating yourself, not wanting to come out of your shell. Others of you, like I said before with the Four of Swords here, there is a need for deep contemplation. There is a need to ask yourself some serious questions, okay? Because you guys have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. There is a stop to plans. Plans have stopped here. you guys, um, could have a father that is doing okay, but there's still, um,
Yeah, the, the, if you guys are wondering, the father is doing okay. There's... Yeah. What else? There is going to be a feeling of depression first to the 15th. Um, first of the 15th, you guys are going to meet very friendly individuals in this new institution, this new job, this new um, school that you are attending. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse, and the Eight of Wands. With the Knight of Swords here, I'm getting that you guys keep on throwing away ideas. You guys feel like they're not good enough, or you guys feel like you are not good enough, okay? And it's bringing about disappointment here. The advice is to not second-guess yourself so much, okay? Really apply yourself. Set it out there with the Eight of Wands because how else are you going to manifest if you keep on um, avoiding things, throwing away your ideas, okay? It doesn't set anything in motion. It just leaves you disappointed here, okay? Let's pull some... energy cards. See what else I'm getting. If you guys are thinking about a Taurus, they are not coming through with the Knight of Wands. They are not making any efforts. They are not coming through passionately. Um, yeah, some of you guys could be waiting on a message here. And you guys are sad you have not received it yet. This could be a partner. This could be somebody who is hiring for the position that you want. With the Taurus that you are wondering about, they are trying to get back on their feet. They are really trying to work on themselves. They have a lot going on as well. If you're wondering about a Taurus. Some of you guys could be... Um, getting back into some sort of witchcraft, getting back to making spells, potions, um, even collaborating with other people at this time, especially with the Three of Pentacles. So put your ideas out there. Don't keep on throwing them away. Um, don't be too impulsive with the Knight of Swords, okay? Throw your ideas out there. Share with them. Manifest with the Eight of Wands here as well. So I see you guys doing some arts and crafts as well. Like I said, maybe working with spells, candles, getting creative. The, um... 
the Queen of Wands is someone who is um, creative, and you could be teaching or helping other people in that type of way here. All right. Things in the home life are not making you very happy as well. The first is the 15th. There are some disconnections, people not getting along, or people not bringing about the type of happy energy that you need, okay? And it's bringing you down as well. Okay, let's pull some energy cards. Okay, so we have yin upright and all tied up in the reverse. So yin and yang upright talks about um, being passive. This is yin. Okay, so again, with reflection, there needs to be clearing of the mind. There needs to be letting go of worries and things you cannot control right now. Um, if you guys are able to do that, you guys will release the the power struggle that you have. You guys will release the feeling stuck to a situation, feeling like feeling like you can't move. Yeah, I was just gonna say. You guys need to strategize as well. I knew this card was going to come out. There is a need to strategize. And by doing that, you guys need to collect, collect yourself. There's a lot of cards here that indicate reflection here. Um, take care of your mental state at this time, Gemini. You guys, um, are not going to feel very powerful the first or the fifteenth, okay, due to some news. Okay, we have Blossoming Abundance with the woman holding a coin in the reverse. So I feel like there are things that might be growing behind the scenes or there are other things that are going to come up for you, like chances to make money, um, in different ways. So you guys could be taking up a, another project with somebody, you're collaborating with somebody, and you could be, or there is a chance to make extra money like that, as far as applying for a job or going back to school. Um, there is concerns about money, and there is an energy of not investing, not applying yourself, okay? So let's go ahead and pull an oracle card for advice. Yeah, look, rest and rejuvenation in the reverse.
message do we have for Sun and Gemini people? We have come to the edge in the reverse. Some of you guys are needing um, to ask help. It's okay to ask help. Ask for help, excuse me. Some of you guys are asking for help, but nobody is giving, okay? Okay, so this message in the reverse says, Fear is leading the way into places you don't need to go. Most of what you fear at the moment is an illusion stemming from an old belief that isn't even true. Now is the time for courage. You will not be lost at sea. You will not want... Excuse me. You will not watch everyone else get what you want while you are left alone and unloved. Oh, the drama of it all. False evidence appearing real is hovering over you. The more you dwell on fear, the more real it will become. Ask yourself, who in me is afraid? Love that part of you. Ask, is this true and real right now? The answer most likely is no. Give yourself a hug. It's okay to be scared. Courage must be summoned. In spite of your fear, even when you're not feeling confident, spirit will always catch you. Okay, I think this tied in perfectly to the message here. Gemini, I am offering personal reading. The information to my website link will be in the description box below. And another quick message, my friend Miss Simone has started a Facebook page that involves helping the environment. So if you guys want to go ahead, check that out, drop a like. Her information will be in the description box below as well. And last but not least, thank you guys so much for your support. All your likes, comments, shares, personal readings. I really do appreciate it. I feel the love, guys. And, um... You know, there's just more to come as well. So, peace out, guys. I'll have your love reading up next.